Hello Pisces and welcome back. Tonight we'll be looking at the energies that will be born for you and we're talking about the week starting from the 5th till the 11th of April 2021. So, Pisces, I will be looking at an energy or an event that has happened in the past and somehow is connected with the energies that will be born this week for you and with your future. And um, Pisces, I will not stay too long in the past, but I will get deeper into your present energy or energies. And uh, I will get deeper into your future energies. So, Pisces, let's start. Let's see, Pisces, let's see. Your intuition, of course, justice, reward, or some kind of legal matter and taking a pause, thinking, meditating, healing. We will see why all this. In the past, days of caps, abundance, over. So maybe you had something. Maybe you had something in the past that has ended, and um, it was. Uh, it was from. It was your fate. It was your destiny. That could not long. Could be about work too, but I feel it's about actually love. Mm? Okay. So uh, at some point in your life, you have felt or you really had that there was something that could be real happiness for you. It was whatever you had been dreaming of. Uh, but for some reason, uh, that cycle uh, has closed or is closed. Uh, and you could do nothing about this. It was fate was destiny. Let's see, is it kind of relationship that this energy has to do something with this week? Or maybe something like a substitution, because I feel something like this. Yes, wow, fantastic. You're manifesting to be the queen of wands. And when you're a queen of wands, people are coming and offering you love because they are um, hypnotized by you, they are mesmerized by you. You are so magnetic, so beautiful. In the past, oh wow, just unbelievable. Again, the High Priestess, you, you, your intuition, your intuition absolutely tells you what is going to happen. And uh, what is going to happen, as we said, you are manifesting to be the Queen of Wands, uh, so sexy Pisces, looking so good and so hot and uh, you are so attracting that um, and so magnetic people come and offer you love you have many options you will be having many options maybe you will be indecisive you will not know who to choose from the options so to be your one and only soulmate uh, let's clarify and see so far the energy is fantastic Justice again, as we said, you're manifesting reward, joy, celebration, and moving on in your life victoriously. Still, if for some of you there was some someone put you in a three-party situation, you are just uh, being disappointed, and from disappointment, you just walk away from uh, this uh, mixed relationship and uh, justice is coming back to them. You are manifesting like karma for them. That probably they had hurt you, getting you into a three-party situation. 
still you are moving on and you are becoming the extremely hot and sexy queen of wands. Hmm. And suddenly, suddenly, <laughs> the queen of wands act, queen of wands attracts new people offering love, new people offering uh, their body and their charismas, physical charismas, to you. Still, what you don't know is that something will happen very fast, suddenly, suddenly, and this has something to do uh, changing the status of your life. I see you having a wish coming true, wish fulfillment, and uh, it can include work, partnership, uh, friends of yours. There will be something very uh, fast and sudden happening in, the, in that field or in those fields around work, uh, with your friends, around friends, something that will make you so happy. It is a wish of yours coming true. And of course, people come and say to you, Pisces, you are so hot. I want to be with you. And love is coming. And when love is coming, you are indecisive. Who to choose? Mm. First you have to see, first you have to check what is going on. Because you want stability, you don't want games. You want stability and certainly you don't want people like uh, having tantrums and uh, being like a kid and uh, small egoisms and stuff like this, like mind games too. Mm? You know that this could really be like sabotaging your own self. So uh, you take, you want only the best, only the best. And before you decide, do you decide, do you decide that's why you appear like indecisive? You want first to check everything around that person before you give the green light. Let's see the options here. Your options are opening. There is also exactly one person, two persons. Wow. From everything is coming to you, there are two persons. That one will, uh, one will take you into your head, not knowing what to do, and the other one will make you feel so defeated. Two people from many options that you are having, many options, will try to hurt you. Just watch out about this, okay? Two. None of them is uh, that the sexy guy. None of them is the loving guy. One of them is just very focused on money. The other one is uh, a little bit detached emotionally from you. And you know that that person, if uh, opens his or her mouth, they are wow. But you like it. You like it because you can be exactly the same. If that person that. Uh, um, get you into your head or into stress you and stuff. Whoa, unbelievable. That person, if you can do it once, you can do it fucking 10 times more on that person. But uh, I think that you just not need, even need to uh, even notice that person. Yes, it will get you into your head, yes, right? But you'll take a pause and you'll say, what? You'll say, what? What are you trying to do to me? Why am I, people try to make me feel low and sad and overthinking? No, because Pisces has options about sex too. And Pisces is becoming the Empress. No one, mm, an Empress. Hmm? No one can screw an empress. An empress is the empress. Okay? So, <laughs> you say to them, it's like, it's like, okay, you are absolutely nothing. You're just nothing. I will take my time. I will take um, my sweet time. I will heal. I will find back myself. I have options. So many options. I will use my logic. I will use my intuition. And I know that I am becoming the Empress. And if you don't even know with your intuition and your mind, I am telling you, this is going to happen in the future. And uh, with that Empress mode, you are going to have the Two of Cups. True love, true love. But let's see first. 
What will happen with this true love? And yes. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Wonderful. <laughs> As I said to you here, like, uh, they'll say, what? Who are you that you are trying to, to bring me down? Who are you, the other guy, that you tried to hurt me? No. I, I move away from you. I don't need you. And it will come the time that you'll say, what the fuck had I been doing? Why I had been wasting my time with such persons? Why did I have to waste my energy on such kind of relationships? No matter relationships will be because soulmate is coming to you. Hmm? Soulmate. Remember, you are the queen of wands. Here is your king, Pisces, the king of wands. Here is your match. This is your match. This is your perfect match. Perfect match. Because it's not only matching on the same level, same frequency, same vibration. You are soulmates. If it is not enough for you, you will have inside you this awakening. The angel is trumpeting for you. Hmm? See it. Pisces, see what is coming for you. And this couple, this perfect match with love and with totally fire and sexy energy is going to have long-term happiness with the Ten of Cups. This is your perfect match, Pisces. This, not the rest. And it's coming to you. It will come to you. It will come to you. The Queen of Wands with the King of Wands. Happily ever after. Unbelievable. And you are becoming the Empress. Remember this. So let's have one more card for you Pisces. Let's have one more card for you Pisces. I'm not sure that you really need uh, any kind of cards as a device, but we can have one. It was very clear. What, what will happen to you is so clear. Yeah, there are some. No. Here are so many. I want one. Hmm. Yes. Really, really. You have to. You have this. You have to see that. The person here, the two persons here, that one will try to, one of your options, when you will be exploring the options, one that will try to bring you to the Nine of Swords, and the other one that will try to make into the Ten of Swords, uh, they are really, really mean people. They want to hurt you, and they are moving the strings under the table, behind the curtains, behind the scenes. They are doing it all the time. You consider them as a uh, as an option to have in your life, but no. Be careful. Could also be. Could also be. Hmm. Be careful. They are doing things behind your back, and they set you up a trap. Absolutely, because I told you. I told you with the power of the universe. Things will change. You have to be afraid of nothing, of nothing. And you will be going to this uh, Nine of Cups wish fulfillment. There is nothing to be afraid of, but still, I would advise you to keep your eyes open, okay? And really become this energy, like you take no bullshit. Just be, no bullshit, I take no bullshit. Have your eyes open, use your intuition, use your logic, and this will make you become the Empress. And when you become the Empress, you are having the perfect match coming to you, really the perfect match. This may be some kind of uh, of people that want to be around you. Hmm? I told you there is, there is, there is here, there is here. You you will know, you will know, you will know. You have news that uh, this is a tricky energy. Okay, this is a tricky energy, very tricky energy. So keep your eyes open for any traps, for any. Um, shit that is happening and you don't know behind your back but don't worry perfect match is coming 
divinely guided for your long-term happiness, which fulfillment is coming, and you appear like the Empress. About sex, oh, so much. If you want, you'll be having so many chances, so many chances, all the chances are open for you. All the roads are open for you, Pisces. So, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I wish you all the best, Pisces, and uh, bye for now.